first thing we got to do is tune our banjo. This song is in G, C, G, C, D, double C tuning. But as you know, I'm a full step lower than that due to my voice and these old antique instruments. I like to tune a little bit lower, looser strings. So my actual tuning, my exact tuning, if you want to get right where I'm at, is um, F, A sharp, F, A sharp, C. home on this song is the full C shape, which is just the full C chord is just your, your middle finger or your ring finger. I like to use my ring finger because then I have more, more reach over here. So let's just do, you know, for our purposes, your ring finger on the first string at the second fret. That gives you your full C chord. So in between measures and at, at the end of each little run of the song, it won't hurt to hold this down give you more full sound behind your voice or whatever okay so let's let's hold that down to start with and so with that held down we're gonna hit we're gonna note with our thumb here the bass string open and then slide from the second fret to the fourth fret then it's the third string open then the third string closed I like to do a full F-shaped chord there. You don't have to. If you want to just hold the third string at the second fret, that give you the same sort of sound. But I do the full F-shape. So after that, after that F-shape, I went to the second string open, then back to the third string close, then the third string open, then the bass string closed, and then the bass string open. Most of this song, guys, it's real noty, but it's just going back and forth on the second fret, mostly. It's just that, okay? So, like I said, don't try to worry about doing it exactly the way I do it. You know, do it the way you're gonna do it and come up with something cool, you know? Don't worry about me. So that's the third string open, then the third string closed, then the second string open, then the second string closed. This is all on the second fret. You should be able to slow down and just follow me along. It's pretty, it's hard for me to, to run through the every exact little note, okay? So. See how to do that? through the whole song for you guys up close and two finger. show you in detail is all the chords that we use for this. So the first chord is basically nothing but you note the first string at the second fret. That gives you your full C tone. Then the second chord that we use, you just run, slide your ring finger down from the second fret to the third fret on the first string, 
Then take your index finger and close off the second string at the second fret. That gives you what they call the F chord, F shape. Okay. The other chord in here is you put your ring finger, I don't know what it's called, but you put your ring finger on the second string at the second fret, and then put your middle finger on the bass string at the second fret. That gives you this chord. And then the other chord, the, uh, the final chord that we use in this, you just shift everything down one string, okay? So put your ring finger back on the first string at the second fret, and put your middle finger down on the second string, at the, or the third string at the second fret. See where I'm at? These are both on the, on the same fret. So first string at the second fret, third string at the second fret. So that gives you that chord, okay? So all the chords that we're using in this are... Okay, that's, that's pretty chordy, okay, and I normally don't use that many chords or play this many notes, but in this song, this is sort of a melodic song, okay? So let me run through it one more time slow, doing that simplified um, two-finger for you guys.